Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Miller is live in Beverly Hills where President Obama is staying tonight. Leslie? That's right, Mark and Michelle. The President Obama's motorcade made its way right past us just about an hour ago on its way to the Beverly Wilshire Hotel behind me where President Obama will spend the night. He'll be leaving Los Angeles tomorrow morning. So you can imagine once again there may be gridlock for the morning commute and we'll talk more about traffic in just a moment. But first, the President is here to raise money for his re-election campaign. And he did raise money. He got money. He also got a lot of enthusiasm from his supporters. And he even got heckled. The President of the United States, Barack Obama. ABC's Modern Family star Jesse Tyler Ferguson hosted tonight's event at West Hollywood's House of Blues and received big praise from President Obama for his hit sitcom. Michelle and the girls love them some Modern Family. But moments after the President took the stage, a heckler tried to steal the show. I want to God is the one and only true living God! The crowd booed the heckler and drowned him out by chanting four more years. Then the president made light of the situation as the man was quickly removed by security. I agree, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Uh, the, I believe in that. Getting down to business, Obama rallied his base and acknowledged that the last two and a half years haven't been easy. I never promised you easy. If you wanted easy, you wouldn't have uh, campaigned for Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> What I promised was that there was a vision of America out there that we believed in. The president touted initiatives such as the auto industry bailout, health care reform, and the recent repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Then he made his pitch for the America Jobs Act. The American Jobs Act cuts taxes for virtually every worker in America. It cuts taxes for small businesses. The president repeated over and over his newest catchphrase. Pass this jobs bill. Tell Congress to pass this bill. Pass this bill. We need to pass this jobs bill now. And he used the opportunity to take a swipe at the GOP, saying wealthy Americans need to pay their fair share of taxes. Republicans are going around talking about, well, that's class warfare. You know what? If asking a billionaire to pay the same tax rate as a plumber is class warfare, then sign me up. More than a thousand Obama supporters paid two hundred and fifty dollars each to hear the president speak for just under half an hour. The money will go towards his re-election campaign for 2012. I just thought it was very inspirational because I am. Uh, he spoke about health care, and I'm a cancer survivor. And he has passion and a sense of commitment to his vision. The president's next event of the night was a private big money fundraiser with Hollywood's elite at the trendy Fig and Olive restaurant. The cost to attend, nearly $18,000 per person. Then the Obama motorcade made its way to the Beverly Wilshire Hotel where the president will stay the night. And, of course, the president's visit wasn't without traffic headaches. There were many road closures in West Hollywood and Beverly Hills today in preparation for the president's visit. President Obama will be leaving Los Angeles at 10 a.m. Tuesday morning on his way to Colorado for another fundraiser. So if you have to travel in the morning, expect traffic tie-ups once again as the president makes his way out of town. Reporting live in Beverly Hills tonight, Leslie Miller, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Leslie,